Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial um, and some tips and tricks on how I edit my photos for Instagram and Facebook. So I use an app called Snapseed. I have a lot of photo editing apps. Um, I'll play with some from time to time, like I like VSCO, um, but I've been stuck on Snapseed for a while. I've kind of found my flow in editing, kind of keeping my photos looking cohesive. So I'm going to show you how I edit in Snapseed. So we're going to open a new photo. from earlier. Okay, so this is an unedited photo. Okay, so once you've opened your photo, you're going to click on the little pen in the bottom right corner, and it's going to open up all your tools. The very first thing that I do is I tune the image. So the, um, if you touch the screen and scroll up and down, you'll see the different tools inside of the tune image. So you have brightness, ambiance, contrast, saturation, shadows, highlights, and warmth. So the very first thing I do, and then um, you're gonna scroll to the right or the left to um, change the brightness. So I just swipe to the right, and I usually up my brightness to about 40. And if you touch, hold on the screen, it'll show you the before and let go, it'll show you the after. So I bump my brightness to about 40. The ambiance, I will show you. That's plus, this is going to the left. You can kind of see the difference. I typically will take my ambiance down to about 30. Let's see. The next thing I do is I bump my contrast to about between eight and 10. Um, I'll just play with it depending on the image and see again how, what we've done. The next thing is saturation. I bump it sometimes five, sometimes 10, depending on the image. And then the only other thing I mess with here is warmth. And that is if the image is too warm or too cool, I'll fix that. I'm happy with the um, warmth here. So once you've done all of your editing here, you're going to click the check mark to the right. And again, if you hold down on the image, you're going to see before and then after. The next thing that I do is details. And I will just sharpen the image a little bit. Structure and sharpening, about 20. You can see before and after. And then next, if you need to do any rotating or cropping, you can do that here. You can also do so much with this app um, as far as like selective editing. You can select a certain area to affect the brightness and contrast, which is really cool. Um, for most of my flat lay images, I don't have to do a whole lot of that. So I typically do all of my image tuning, the details, if I need to rotate it a little bit, We'll do that. And then the next thing I do, um, here are filters. And there are a ton you can play with. My favorite set is the grainy film. And my favorite, as you can see, there are quite a few of them. I'll just click through them, you can see. And all of these right now are at full strength. And I don't ever use them at full strength. There's some beautiful filters in here. Kind of like all of them. <laughs> I've stuck to these three. L1, L2, and L3 are typically the ones that I'll use. Um, L2 is the one that I go to the most. So once I've clicked on L2, same thing as the other tools, I swipe to the left to bring down my grain. I don't like it to look too grainy, so I'll bring it down to about 
eight between eight and ten. Then I swipe up to go to the style strength, and I usually bring that down, depending on the image, anywhere so you can see all the way to hundred before or after. I'll bring it down between forty and sixty. So depending on the image, how strong I want that filter, typically I put it at forty. So it's not too strong. On this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and take it to 50. So that's before and after. Let's see. Once you've set the style strength and grain, do your check mark, and it's going to apply that filter. And once I have done that, you can always touch the screen to see your before. And you're after. And if I'm happy with how it looks, I will save. If you want to make any changes to the edits you made, you see the number three at the top? That is telling you how many tools you've used. If you tap that, down here it's going to show you you have your original image, you added the tune image, details, and grainy film. So if you wanted to swap filters, if you tap on grainy film and click on the little bars, it's going to take you back to that step of adding a filter. And then you can go and click through them. Now as you click through them, you know we changed our grain and style strength. Once you've changed that, it's going to apply that to all filters. So you can click through the filters and see at that strength, what they all look like. So there's some beautiful filters in this set. These are probably my favorite. L2 being my best favorite. Um, you can you know go back and change your details. If you didn't want it as sharp, change that. So that I, that's what I like about this app. It's whatever edits you make, you can always go back and slightly tweak them without having to redo your entire image. And then when you're done, just click the arrow to go back. And then if you click save, you have a few options. So you can click just save and it changes or it saves your changes where you can undo them. And what it does is iOS will pop up a message and ask to modify the original photo or you can save a copy or you can export a com an image with permanent changes so none of the edits can be undone so you have three options of saving I typically just do the save and when it pops up just click modify that is how I edit my images and then once I'm done with the editing then I will go in and add my logo and um, upload that. So hope that helps guys.